Hi, my name is Bill Robertson, and you might know me better as Dr. Skateboard. Welcome to Dr. Skateboard's Action Science, a video series where we explore the physical science concepts found in skateboarding and BMX. In this video segment, Motion, we're going to learn all about motion. Action sports, such as skateboarding and BMX, are great examples of motion. So let's get moving with motion. Energy and motion are closely related, and skateboarding and BMX are two great ways to understand the various types of energy and how they relate to motion. The energy of motion is best described by the term kinetic energy, in which a rider or object is moving, such as in riding down a ramp. The energy of position is best described by the term potential energy, in which a rider or object could move, such as a rider at the top of a ramp waiting to drop in. Riders on ramps or at the park move between moments of kinetic and potential energy as they ride back and forth. While moving on the ramp, the rider demonstrates kinetic energy, and while stalling at the top, the rider shows the presence of potential energy. Mechanical energy is the energy possessed by an object due to its motion or its position, and can be both potential and kinetic energy. In the simplest sense, Mechanical energy can be defined as the total of the kinetic and potential energies added together. When a rider is in motion on a ramp, the potential energy from dropping in is transferred to the kinetic energy at the bottom of the ramp. As the rider moves down the ramp, the potential energy decreases while the kinetic energy increases. Yet the mechanical energy remains the same and is equal to the potential energy at the top of the ramp or the kinetic energy at the bottom of the ramp. So see if you can maximize your potential the next time you're at the skate park and make it kinetic when you drop in. <laughs>